Welcome to Technical Drawing. Today we are going to learn this sum in Machine Drawing. Let's say this is O. First we will draw these two circles. This circle, these two and these three circles. We will draw this line first. First is 24. O to P is 24. And O to Q is 77. So we'll mark these two distance. Then this is how much? 35. This is R and S. So from O you go down by 35. And this is 53. So take 26.5, 26.5 on both the sides. R and S. Now I'm drawing axis line. Now we'll take radius 20 and we'll draw radius from O. And radius 13 from P. Then we'll draw tangent to these two circles. So we'll get the middle portion. See this. Then whatever portion is left that we can draw dark. So it's very important to draw two light circle and then you draw tangent. So then you'll get the exact point. After that is the radius 44. See this. This is radius 15. Right from R and S. Then we have this radius. Right. See first is radius 17. Then we have diameter 18, so that is radius 9. Then we have outer radius also, which is 23. After that you can draw tangent. See after drawing the tangent you can draw remaining circle dark. Now we need to draw radius 13. So radius 13 is external circle, right? If you see, this is 13, which is external. Radius 15 plus 13 and 44 plus 13. So from O will cut how much? 44 plus 13. Sorry. So it is 57. And from S you cut 15 plus 13 which is 28 so from O you cut 57 on both the sides and R and S you need to cut how much 15 plus 13 that is 28 so we'll get the center point for radius 13 which is external so always remember whenever it is an external circle we need to add Join these two points B to O and B to S O to A and A to R 
then from point B you draw curve radius 13 from point A you draw radius 13 from O you draw a circle see this remaining part Now we need to draw this curve, radius 32. So if you see radius 32 is again external. So from point Q I will cut 17 plus 32 that is 49 and from O we will cut 44 plus 32. Many times people they take it from P that is wrong so just keep that in mind. See this from O we need to take. So from O I will take 76. Not from P. See this from O I'll cut 76. And from Q I'll cut 49. So wherever they intersect that is point C and D. So from point C and D you can draw radius 32. What you can do you can join C to Q and O to C. So you'll get the exact point. Exact point for the radius 32. From where to where do we have to draw dark. See from here to here 32. Now we can draw remaining circle dark. Now one more circle is remaining. See this is diameter 9. So that we will draw first. And if you see one more arc is remaining that is radius 14. So that is external. So from R we will cut how much? 15 plus 14 right and from s also 15 plus 14 so that would be 29 so you take 29 in your compass and from r you cut 29 and from s you cut 29 wherever they intersect from that point you can take radius 14 Now we need to draw hatching lines. We can draw it this way also but if you see in the main diagram they have given in this direction. So you draw it in this direction. So remember when you draw all these hatching lines it will be at a distance of 2 to 3 mm. Thank you.